Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing some easy and delicious sheet pan dinner ideas that you can make for your family. Dinner only took me about 10 minutes to put together every night this week so I think you guys will enjoy these ideas. If this is your first time here make sure to hit that red subscribe button down below and that thumbs up button to let me know that you want to see more. Without further ado we're going to go ahead and jump into the first meal. This was actually our favorite one out of the four meals I'm going to share with you today. I also have all of these recipes listed down below. So I'm going to make sheet pan steak fajitas. The recipe that I linked down below is for chicken, but we just replaced the chicken with steak. All you need is a sirloin steak cut into strips, one medium sized onion that we're going to cut into strips, and then I have three bell pepper that I've already cut up. I actually prepped this earlier in the week when I did my meal prep for these meals. I'll link that video down below if you missed it. Doing that prep made my life so much easier when it came time to put these meals together. And then I have one packet of Taco Bell fajita mix. The recipe that I linked down below gives you all of the ingredients that you need to make your own, but I decided to cut a corner and just go ahead and buy a packet of this fajita mix. placing the onion, peppers, and steak into a bowl. And then we're gonna coat everything with the fajita mix. Is where I realized I forgot to drizzle on my olive oil. I was supposed to do this before I put in the seasoning, so I'm just going to drizzle a little of that. Once I have everything coated, I'm taking and spreading it out onto a baking sheet that I've lined with foil and sprayed a little bit of olive oil. I baked this on 425 for 20 minutes and everything was perfectly cooked. I was worried the steak might be tough, but it was actually tender and juicy. When it came out of the oven, I sprinkled everything with a little lime juice. So it gave it some extra flavor and then we served it on homemade tortillas that my mom made. I put a little shredded cheese, sour cream, and cilantro. These were so delicious. If you try anything from this video, it has to be these. It's a keeper for sure. Our next sheet pan dinner, or breakfast should I say, you can make this for either one. You just need some potatoes O'Brien. I'm using Walmart brand. I'm gonna use half the bag, and then you need one pack of bacon, a handful of shredded cheddar cheese, some eggs, and some green onion. I have nine eggs in the basket that I'll start off with, and then you'll see me add in more later when I realize that I actually need more. But for this recipe, I used 13 eggs total. I'm gonna start off by frying up my bacon. You could meal prep this earlier in the week so it's ready on the night that you wanna make this. And you don't have to use bacon, you can use ground sausage if you prefer that. I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing all of my ingredients together in a bowl. I'm gonna add in some salt and pepper.
So I cooked my bacon until it was crispy and then I took and chopped it up into pieces and then I added it to the egg mixture. I have a baking sheet that I've lined with parchment paper, although you can use foil too. Just make sure that you spray it really good. And this is where I realized I needed more eggs. I wasn't following a recipe. I was kind of doing my own thing here, so I wasn't sure how many it would actually take. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in about four more. And as I said earlier, I used 13 eggs total. So now I'm going to let it bake on 350 for 20 to 25 minutes. This was really delicious and it cuts into perfect squares. You can serve it on croissants or biscuits and you can also store it in the freezer for later. Our next meal is a Cajun shrimp dinner. I've made this in the air fryer before but I thought it would make a really great sheet pan dinner as well. You need one squash and one zucchini cut into half moons, some extra large shrimp, get the kind that aren't cooked yet. I made a mistake and got pre-cooked ones. You need olive oil, salt, Old Bay or Cajun seasoning, and one pack of smoked rope sausage. I'm gonna slice up my sausage really quick and then we can place everything into a mixing bowl and get it coated with the olive oil, salt, and Old Bay. So I bought pre-cooked shrimp and it doesn't need to cook as long as everything else does. So I'm gonna hold mine out for the first half of the baking time because it just needs to heat through. So if you buy shrimp that is not cooked, then you would go ahead and put it in with everything else. So I'm not measuring the Old Bay, I'm just sprinkling until I have it coated. Also, this dinner was not spicy at all, but it had a really good flavor. I'm going to spread this out onto a baking sheet that I've lined with foil and sprayed with some olive oil and then I'm going to bake it on 350 for 10 minutes. If you are adding in your shrimp now, then you would bake this for a total of 20 minutes. But I'm going to go ahead and let what I have on the pan cook for 10 minutes and then I'm going to come back and add the shrimp. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and coat my shrimp in the seasoning. So it's now been 10 minutes. I'm gonna add my shrimp in and bake it for an additional 10 minutes. And that completes this meal. So easy and so delicious. Our last meal we're gonna make is chili lime tilapia. As I mentioned earlier, I will have the recipe linked down below, but you'll need some garlic, honey, chili powder, cumin, 
lime juice. I was out of lime, so I'm using lemon juice, olive oil, and salt and pepper. I'm adding all of my ingredients to a bowl, and I went a little heavy on the cilantro, but we're gonna mix all of this together, and this will go on the tilapia. On my pan, I'm adding sweet potatoes. This is four small to medium sized sweet potatoes that I've peeled and cut into strips. And then I'm also gonna add broccoli florets. I'm gonna drizzle on some olive oil with salt and pepper and give that a quick toss. And now we are ready to add the tilapia. So I'm just making some room. Once you have the tilapia on the pan, you'll pour the chili lime or lemon in my case over the tilapia. This is gonna bake at 425 for 20 minutes. So delicious and also a healthy recipe to make if you're looking for healthier options for you and your family. We really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.